how are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. We're going to be talking all about Nina's Gucci lipsticks. They release these hybrid lip balm lipsticks and I picked up three really fun shades for spring and summer. So I'm going to show you demo application on these guys and then we're going to compare them with Happy Keys by Charlotte Tilbury. So we're going to talk price, formulation, everything like that. So if you're excited and it's the first time here, I'm Gigi. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. I do a ton of luxury makeup, unboxing, reviews, hauls, everything like that. So if that's a content that you enjoy, make sure to click on the red button that says subscribe. And also go to my Instagram because over there I do keep you posted on your makeup sales, makeup releases, everything like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, friends. So let's begin. And I picked up three of the new lipsticks by Gucci. These are like a hybrid lipstick lip balm so it's sort of reminding me of the newest Charlotte Tilbury lippies I got one to show you um, her shade pillow talk and so this time around I decided to get a few bright shades so I got one sort of like a peachy shade and then I got two bright shades I don't tend to gravitate towards very bold lipsticks but these could be a nice compromise you know you get the color but then you get the sheerness of a lip balm so I was excited These lipsticks are so vintage and beautiful the packaging is so slim and you know just a very pretty I love it it has the same rigid you know packaging as the regular lipsticks by Gucci but you can see how taller and how thinner the newers are I really love the vibe of these lippies this is also a hybrid lipstick you know lip balm situation and they are very very similar you can see that they're the same height, same thickness, but these are heavy and nice and luxurious. They are, you know, they do feel very substantial. My complaint when it comes to these ones by Charlotte was that the packaging is so light and these are pricey you guys i believe they're around at the same price at least uh, prices above but you know um i don't know i just did not like the packaging of this one it just feels cheap but these ones are nice heavy luxurious and yeah i'm excited so i picked up a three of the shades uh, they do come in you know the regular cardboard packaging from a gucci so i got my casting raquel which is 216 I got uh, Valent Vantine Fuchsia and then I got Virginia Scarlet. These are currently available at Surbridges, Nordstrom. I picked mine up from Solbridges because I'm in Canada. I don't see them in Sephora, Canada, but they are already in there. They're just not available, but they are available at US, like Sephora US. They do retail for 55 Canadian dollars, at least the US right here. And they're called Gucci Rouge de Beautreux brilliant glow and care lipstick so they're described as a lipstick that provides up to 24 hours of long lasting hydration and shine the formulation is a lipstick it is hydrating long wearing and plumping some of the highlighted ingredients are flower oils black rose oil peony and jojoba oil fruit butters is going to moisture and hyaluronic acid is going to provide long lasting hydration with a subtle yet visible limp plumping and smoothing effect it is free of parabens formaldehyde sulfates and is also vegan so i went ahead and searched on the price of charlotte's lippies these are 39 dollars and you get 0 0.08 uh ounces of product on Gucci's you get 0 0.06 ounces of product and they're $55 um, I wish these were refillable somehow but I don't think they are it, it doesn't mention anywhere that they are I wish they were because this packaging I'm pretty sure it takes a ton to make and as I mentioned they're so heavy and nice on my hands that like it's just a shame that it's gonna go to waste whenever I run out of the lippy. Go ahead and apply it. I am gonna apply them without lip liner because these are, as I mentioned, just a hybrid uh, lip balm lipstick. You don't wanna be, you know, messing around a lip liner when you're using these ones. And plus, they suggest to do it that way. And if you wanted a sheer application, you do one pass. If you want a more payoff, then you're gonna do a couple of passes. Hello. So. Let's go ahead and apply the shade 
my cousin Raquel. As you saw, I show you just the sheer application of this one, just one or two passes I did, and then I went ahead and just built up a little bit more. They do build up nicely. Um, with one pass, I, I got like a lip balm effect, uh, but you know, when I did a few more passes, you can totally see that peachy color just you know peeking through and I really like it they do have a scent it is similar to the regular lipsticks but it's not as strong as with the lipsticks I feel like you know it's fading away but it's very similar really floral that Gucci you know lippy scent you do get them with these ones as well next up we have the fuchsia color which is a very fun and bright one. I was excited, you know, for a shade like this because I don't really have anything like this. I don't gravitate towards shades like this, but because these were sheer, I was excited. And this is more opaque, you saw that, right? And this is a beautiful color. You can see that it is much more opaque than the previous one. This really shows up one or two passes and you're good to go. They're very, very nourishing. They're very hydrating. Mm, they feel so cushiony and just silky on the lips. I'm loving the formula of these uh, lip balms. Uh, they're extremely comfortable and look at this color. I think it's so, so pretty for summertime. Last but not least, we have these orangey shade uh, this one is in the shade Virginia Scarlet and I wanted a uh, orange shade but I didn't know this was gonna be this bright I thought it, hmm, it's okay let's go ahead and apply And this is also a beautiful color, beautiful orange, much more opaque than the first one because of course the first one is a peachy nudie shade. This is very pretty. I wanted an orange shade and I think this is cute. Um, these are very nice, you guys, to my lips. They just feel so nice and nourishing. Okay, friends, so those were the three shades that I picked up. I am going to swatch them for you. I want you to see. So that's one pass of Virginia Scarlet. If you go ahead and do a few passes, you're gonna get much more pigmentation. But that's that one. Then let's do the fuchsia shade. So that's that one. Do a better job at that. So that's the fuchsia. My cousin Raquel which is your nude shade. You can see it's a peachy nude. So this one, I'm sorry, I'm not seeing. So this one, you can, you're going to have to build up. I have to be honest, the orange and my cousin Raquel are so close in tone to each other. This is much more sheer, but they're gonna give you the same orange effect. So I don't think you need both of these ones. If I had to do it all over again, I would not pick two oranges. You know what I mean? I would do something different, like coral or like red or something different. But I'm happy with all of them. I think that they're pretty. I think that they're unique. I think that I'm gonna get you know, a lot of use out of them because they do feel very nourishing to my lips. So now let's talk a little bit about Charlotte's and the formula and how they are very comparable to Gucci's. First off, um, I show you the packaging. They're very similar. The only thing is that these will clog up 
and it won't turn back down so that's um you know something annoying about these guys also i want to show you now that you saw the other swatches you can see that these this is a very very opaque so you get a ton more payout out of these ones that you get on Gucci. Gucci's you definitely need to like build up. These ones by Charlotte I felt that they were very very pigmented so keep that in mind. Charlotte's have a little bit of a vanilla scent not too much of a floral scent as Gucci. Um, Charlotte's is cheaper than Gucci's and you get a little bit more a point two more um, you know than you do on Gucci's but I feel like the packaging is just huge. These are just so nice and weighty and just substantial and so it's just a very vintage and pretty love this packaging. Charlotte's on the other hand is just so lightweight and it bothers me. It really bothers me to pay this much for a, like a gloss hybrid a lipstick but it is just so lightweight. I love to take this on my purse and they go. These are just so pretty so check if you ask me which one i recommend i recommend more gucci even though this you need to build up a little bit more um this you get more payoff i just like this packaging so much more than i prefer because of the packaging i'm sorry the formula is just so so similar but again charlotte's is very very opaque so if you like your lip balms to be really opaque this is the way to go uh, but if you like your lip balms to be a little bit more sheer and buildable then this is the way to go so paying the amount of money that i'm paying for these ones i am happy with this packaging i am happy with the formulation i think that they're true what they're you know what they're telling you they're sheer very comfortable lip, uh, lipstick hybrid lip balm and these are them i think they're just so so cute they do give you a little bit of plump you know they're a little plumping because they're very shiny um on the lips and again just very nourishing and nice at this point i had this last color for maybe maybe five minutes and i think that the scent completely just went away so those are good news the scent doesn't linger too long but yeah these are stunning these are already at sephora so if you're planning on shopping at this sale i do highly highly recommend at least you pick one of them because these are just so cute all right friends and that's it for now thanks so much for watching let me know in the comments what do you think of these guys did you like them what do you think of the packaging swatches the lipsticks anything do you have anything similar are you gonna skip on this i need to know everything <laughs> anything that comes to mind just drop it below thanks so much you guys for your love and so forth do not forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye